In this lesson I'm going to show you how to apply a special effect to an object or some text and then where you go to edit it. So the first thing we'll do is we'll slide over to the left here and give ourselves some space. Now I'll type in a letter, say the letter A, that'll do. And I'll select that and I'll make it a lot larger so we can actually see what we're doing. Okay, and I'll put that roughly in the centre there like that. Okay, now to apply a special effect to this we need to come over to the left hand side here and click on the special effects and shading flyout as you can see here and we're interested in highlights, shine, reflective or bumps. These things here are all related to each other. The others like soft shadow and glow and fire etc they've got their own lessons and discuss, are discussed separately. At the moment we're worried about these ones. So if I click on highlights you can see here it clearly has applied some effect to this which is what we're calling highlights. Now if I undo that you can clearly see the difference between undo and redo there's definitely quite an effect on this this particular character here. Now to edit this character I can come down and I can click on this button here the shading button and when I click on that you'll see these two nodes come up which gives me some control. These are fairly simple controls they're not uh, they don't do a lot but they actually they're just general quick controls on the screen and you'll also see up the top here there's some more tools which is usually the case with Vinyl Master. Most things that you do uh, in, in so far as a context will appear in this second row here. If I click off this A and I click back on it, I'm now selected the text. I can still select the special effect by clicking on that button but because it's currently text at the moment if I click say this color I can make it red or I can make it blue or yellow or whatever color I want to make it. That's something that you can do. If I click on here then I'm in the shading mode and I can't, if I click on these things nothing happens. It doesn't change the color because at the moment I'm in special effects mode. Okay, now what I can do so I can show you how the other tools look. So if I go shine, that's what shine looks like. That's what reflective looks like and as you can see reflective puts in a reflection map. It's a picture of a car in the background there which gives it the illusion of being quite glossy and reflective. You can adjust all these effects in the shading effects editor. Uh, and the other one that I wanted to show you was the bumps here. These are just some generic bumps that we've, we've created uh, as a bump map just to give you an idea. Uh, you can clearly change any of this to suit your own needs. I can click back on that and adjust the actual uh, the bevel height and the shape of the bevel there. And the other adjustments we can do up here are like the brightness um, of the object itself. Uh, and we can set things like highlights. Some of these will have an effect, some of them won't have that much of an effect depending on what you've actually got selected and what the actual effect is. Some, As you can see some of these are actually having quite a dramatic effect, others are having very little. That because that really depends on the colour of the object and what effect you've actually got applied. Okay, now if we wanted to uh, edit this effect more thoroughly and, and, and do some real uh, changes to it then we would click on this button here, the shading button, and then we get these other effects up. This, this button here hides effects and this button here locks effects and this button here selects them. This one here, the shading tools, if I click on that you'll see the shading tools come up. Now the shading tools gives us much more control on the actual effect itself and what we can do with it. Now the shading tools, I'll just put them away for a moment. They can also, once the effect's selected, you can also bring up the shading tools from here, shading tools. Uh, you can also bring them up from the effects uh, menu and you can click on shading tools. There's an actual shortcut for them there. So I click on them there and that brings them up. Uh, so you can get to the shading tools from many different locations. The other thing about shading tools is you can actually roll them up out of the way. Just click on that button put them out the way and that way you can have them floating on the screen anywhere you like, bring them back when you need them, put them away when you don't or get rid of them altogether. It's as simple as that uh, you, and as I say you can bring them back by just clicking on these buttons here. Okay so if I slide out here, there's still enough room here, if I go to the reflection map for example here I can select some other reflection uh, add some other bump map and as you can see it looks completely different now and you know, changing these uh, settings here can have quite a dramatic effect on what this uh, on what this looks like. So that's how you actually apply a special effect, and that's where you get to edit the effect. And the shading effects editor has its own lesson, and you can watch and learn a lot more about how to use that particular tool in another lesson. And that's the end of this lesson.